which point xy is a solution to the given system of inequalities in the xy plane. So we have these two inequalities and we need to see which of these points satisfies these two inequalities, which really just means when we plug in x and y from any of these points, it should satisfy both equations, which means that both sides should be true. Okay, so let's first try answer choice A. So answer choice A says that x is equal to negative 14 and y is 0. So we'll just plug those into these equations. So in the first equation, y is 0. It is less than x, which is negative 14, plus 7. And we can simplify that to 0 is less than or equal to negative 7 which is not true because 0 is greater than negative 7 so we can immediately rule out answer choice a because the point negative 14 0 does not satisfy the first equation after plugging in negative 14 comma 0 into the first equation we get an incorrect final inequality so let's try answer choice B, which says that x is 0 and that y is negative 14. So for the first equation, answer choice B says that negative 14 is less than or equal to 0 plus 7, which is true. Negative 14 is less than or equal to 7. But now let's plug answer choice B into the second equation. So the second equation says that negative 14 is greater than or equal to 2 times x, which is 0, 2 times negative 2 times 0 minus 1, which simplifies to negative 14 is greater than or equal to negative 1, which is incorrect. Negative 14 is a larger negative number than negative 1, which means negative 14 is actually smaller than negative 1. So we can rule out answer choice B as well, since it does not satisfy the second equation. Okay, and then answer choice C says that x is 0 and that y is 14. If we plug that into the first equation, it will say 14 is less than or equal to 0 plus 7. And that is incorrect because 14 is a larger number than 7, not a smaller or equal to number to 7. So answer choice C does not satisfy the first equation, so we can rule it out. And then answer choice D says that x is equal to 14 and y is equal to 0. So when we plug that into the first equation, we will get 0 is less than or equal to 14 plus 7, which is true. 0 is less than 21. And then when we plug in answer choice D into the second equation, we will get 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2 times 14 minus 1, which simplifies to 0 is greater than or equal to negative 28 minus 1, which is just 0 is greater than or equal to negative 29, which is true because negative 29 is a negative number, so 0 is greater than negative 29. So since answer choice D, which is 14 comma 0, these t x and y values satisfy both of these equations, meaning that they result in final inequalities that are both accurate, 0 is greater than or less than negative 29, and 0 is less than or equal to 21, then answer choice D is correct.